So here I am in our greenside bunker, front face of the bunker. Um, it's often called the lip of the bunker. So obviously we need to get more high enough to get over the lip and kind of a nice distance uh, to get more out onto the green. Generally speaking, if we can develop a bunker shot for you that's maybe 10 yards in length, that means most greenside bunkers you get in, you can probably get yourself out and get yourself onto the green. Now that's probably your main aim at the moment, is just to make sure that you can get out in one shot, get it on the putting surface and go from there. So I'm going to give you a fairly simple technique to play a bunker shot. Now, same thing with the grip, fingers under hand over, fingers under hand over. Now, we can hold the club pretty much at full length. We don't need to grip down now. So when we play this shot, we're gonna try and get the club right under the ball and take some sand as well. If it obviously going right under the ball doesn't mean we're gonna try and scoop the ball out, we're gonna let the loft of the club do the work. So again, I've got my sandwich here. Typically a sandwich, probably 56 degrees in total. It's enough loft to get it up there, no problem at all. So, here we go. So, normal grip. Okay, I'm going to go lip step, big step. Then I'm going to take a slightly bigger step with my right foot. So I've got quite a solid base. Okay, and I'm going to just get my feet in so I don't move around too much. Now, here's the trick. Turn my left foot out slightly. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to let the knee go with it. Now from there, I'm ready to make my shot. Now when I make my back swing, it doesn't need to be a hugely long back swing, but my eyes are going to be focused on a point that's just maybe about a ball's width before, so in this area here. Okay, it's a little bit before the ball. So I'm going to try and get the club to edge the sand at that point there. And I'm going to try and keep the club head accelerating through to get the ball out. I don't need to hit it too hard, I don't need to hit it too soft, somewhere in between. Okay, so predominantly it's kind of an arm motion, this one. Again, I'm just going to try and get the club going back to only a little sort of quarter swing, really. Back to here there. So here we go. Eyes on this little point there. Again, I'm going to hover the club head. You need to hover the club head because remember you get that two shot penalty if you touch the sand first before you're attempting to hit the shot. So remember, when you attempt to hit the ball, you can take as much sand as you like really. It's just beforehand, you can't test the surface with the club head. So here we go. We're in good position. Eyes to the point. There we go, pretty good result there. Now you can just see my, my back foot has actually just moved slightly, it's come off its heel slightly. Now that's a good sign really because with bunker shots you want to try and make sure that you're always favouring your weight onto the front side. So aim for the target, little step, big step, a bit bigger with the right foot, turn the foot out little bit of weight favouring that side. Now, favouring that side there will bring the club down, help to get through, get a little bit of body weight to them. If you kind of lean back, it's very, very common with people who struggle to get out of the bunker. They think if they lean back, they'll apply more loft and get the ball out. But all that really happens is they start to hit the top of the ball, the ball goes straight into the face of the bunker. There's enough loft on this to get the ball out. So we'll have one more go. Again, really good result there. So I'm not being too aggressive. I'm taking the club back to here and straight through. So it's really about setup. Um, you know, if you can set yourself up correctly, it will work. The bounce of the club will help the club to go in, come back out. Great green side bunker shots. So, one thing to make sure is when you leave the bunker, you always 
great footprint and where the club has got to be the sand. If your golf ball comes into a bunker, lands in somebody's footprint, you have to play it from where it lies. Okay, so if you always leave the bunker in a condition you'd like to find it in, everybody's happy.